Okay, so practice paper three, and uh, it carries on over the page as well. There's a part C and D. Now the first one asks us to shade 7 25ths of this grid. That's really straightforward because we've got 5 by 5 grid, so there's 25 squares. So you can shade any 7 that you like. It doesn't have to be in order, but it kind of makes sense just to keep it like that. So that's 5, 6, 7. It's going to get a nice easy mark. This one says shade 3 fifths. Well, you can either work in rows or columns, but you notice there's going to be five of them, so it's going to either go to look at rows or columns, and we need to shade uh, that's one complete row, that's two complete rows, that's three complete rows. Okay? Now, Next question says, use your answers to part in AB to write down the answer to 3 fifths minus 7 25 fifths. 3 minus 7 25 fifths. Well, you've got 15 here, and you've got to take off 7, okay, if we're doing the takeaway. So if you take off this whole row, and if I rub it out, I take off that row, that's 5, 6, 7, that leaves us with 8 25 fifths. So that must be the answer to this one, must be 8 25th straight up. And the last one works, asks us to work out 2 thirds of 27. Well, what is this? 1 third of 27 is 27 divided by the denominator at the bottom, 27 divided by 3, which is 9. So 2 thirds of 27 is 9 doubled. We want two of them. This is one third. We want two of those thirds, which gives us 18.